long journey itself. A long time ago, we wanted to tell the story of these little kids, but then we also wanted to tell the story of, of Carl Older, and we have to truncate time, and we have, but we have to tell the most meaningful parts of it. So believe me, we actually told a lot of their story. We had a lot of stories that we explored before we actually had to turn them down. So Bob Peterson had written a lot of the scenes, and um, I had visualized a lot of the scenes, and we, we actually put them all up on reels until it was time where I wanted to make sure that we can make it behave like a 30 second commercial. Uh, uh, commercials tend to be about selling product, but most of them, some of them actually can sell you emotion in a short amount of time, and I, I come from advertising, so I kind of like know how to fasten what little time I have. So the task is to weed out the things, because a lot of them are really good, to weed out the things that does double duty or takes too long to tell or is not as impactful. But we've always wanted to make sure that it was uh, no dialogue and make sure that we can get to Carl's story as quick as possible. So we had we had versions of it that were very long, and versions of it that had different pieces in there. Some of them actually had dialogue, some of them had things that kind of distract you. So our process is iterative, and to do it over and over and over again until we just hit it just right, all the way down the line. So I'm glad that you appreciate it, but it, it, it feels like it's, uh, it's very deliberate, but it took us a long time to, to get it just right. Yes. Okay. What advice would you Because if you're already a visual development artist and you want to migrate into telling story, I, I tend to uh, scare people from the story <laughs> because it's it's kind of very very difficult job. And I only say that because I don't want people to. You can love to do story work or do storyboards, and that's great if you love it. You can do it on your own. You can do it for your own purposes. But to be in a production being a story artist, it's, it's a different task. A lot of it is, is very painful because I tend to, we do require, we, we do recruit, but I'm going to talk about it in these terms only because if the thing that we will require of story artists, and this is, this is my regard for it, uh, one of the heads of story at Pixar, is that you need to invest in this movie as a storyteller, all of your story. So that means parts of you are in the sequences that you make. And you are going to invest in it completely. So when it doesn't work, or the director doesn't like it, or it falls out of the wheel for some reason, it's going to stink. It's actually going to hurt. And you have to do it every day. You have to come in there not only fearless, but also knowing that you're going to hurt a lot. So if you don't love this crap, you could actually want to get out of it really fast. It's, it's one of those things that, as an artist, I'm going to go to my room and go, I want to do the most magnificent painting of the I want people to love it. That's the short distance that you want. So this one is a long journey, and not all of it is fun. And that's a test of uh, your metal as a story person. Uh, but in terms of just the skill set, I would require that you start telling your stories. Try and keep telling them so that people can't see you as just a visual development artist. They start thinking, maybe you should do some story. So why do you do uh, story? How are you going to actually learn it? What? What? <laughs>